before we take an auto ride, Father says to Ma, my dear, now just remember I don't need suggestions from the rear. If you will just keep still back there and hold in check your fright, I'll take you where you want to go and get you back all right. Remember that my hearing's good and also I'm not blind. And I can drive this bus without suggestion from behind. Ma promises that she'll keep still. Then off we gaily start. But soon she notices a heavy peddler and his cart. You'd better toot your horn, says she, to let him know we're near. He might turn out. And Pa replies, just shriek at him, my dear. And then he adds, someday some guy will make a lot of dough by putting horns on tuno seats for women folk to blow. A little further on, Ma cries, he signals for a turn. And Pa says, did he? In a tone that's hot enough to burn. Oh, there's a boy on roller skates, said Ma. Now do go slow. I'm sure he doesn't see our car. And Pa says, I don't know. I think I don't need glasses yet. But really it may be that I am blind and cannot see what's right in front of me. If Pa should speed the car, it is some rig to hurry past. Ma whispers, do be careful now. You're driving much too fast. And all the time, she's pointing out the dangers of the street. And she's been posted on the road where trolley cars she'll meet. Last night, when we got safely home, Pa sighed and said, my dear, I'm sure we've all enjoyed the drive you gave us from the rear.